Okay, so very important here, we're gonna do, as we pointed out, this one you start first. It's actually easier to do the second one and third one, the two bigger bolts, which are what right here and right here, respectively, on this bracket that aligns everything, everything hand tight. Then I can come about with my left hand, wrap around this way and get that last bolt nice and easily. It'll go right in because it's being fixated by three other points. Okay, so that's it. That's gonna be uh, your um, most difficult part of the job. That is removal of the high pressure fuel pump shield slash bracket, heat shield, whatever you wanna call it. Um, and from this point on, we're gonna then attach, uh, we show you the attaching points uh, right here and here. Uh, at this point, you can go back on with the uh, with this other piece here. And just line up these bolt holes. Uh, and this is your bracket. Now, mind you, before I do this, um, actually you can do it after, it doesn't matter, but what's gonna happen here, this bracket is gonna reattach to this spot here like this. Okay, and you can see that there are these little tiny, um, it's kind of like uh, vertical little slits. Those are for zip ties. Those are gonna hold on the wiring harness. So I'm just gonna get this done while we've got it in place. And I'm gonna, I haven't tightened everything yet. So right now I'm just putting this on for demonstration purposes. I still have to tighten everything. So I'm gonna take a break. Uh, that's the tough job. Once that's on, this thing goes and slips in here. You can bend, keep keep rolling the camera. You can bend here as much as you need to, to, to fit this back into this groove, okay? And this is bendable, this is pliable. Again, four bolts attachments, one here, one here, and these are standard. I think they're, you know, you can get an eight millimeter on these guys. These are Torx, uh, uh, reverse Torx rather, and they go one, two, three and four and uh that takes us to the fast forward for now i'm going to get that back on and that takes us to the next stage because from that stage on now we're going to get prepped for reinsertion or, or re uh, uh reinstalling the intake manifold which had to be removed in order to perform this job and cut